Okay, Sean, in the press conference you said 3-0 probably wasn't a fair result. Canada did certainly play some great football tonight. But as you said, you need to get the goals to get the results. Yeah, I mean, what I was so impressed with, especially in the first half, was that uh, the chances that Uruguay had, it was we were made mistakes in our, in our, in our final third, trying to, or no, sorry, in our defensive third, trying to play. And, and at this level, we understand that that's the risk you may take, and then you get to, they have chances. And Maxime Cropo and, and the defenders handled it well. What I was so encouraged by in the first half was how the football we, the chances we made was the football we played, and uh, going from the back line through into the midfield, playing it wide, coming back around, looking, doing some good runs up front, and then getting in. And really, I think uh, my memory serves me right, almost like three were in alone, one on one with the keeper. And at this level, you have to finish your chances. So uh, some may say, yeah, it's unfair. It's a 3-0 result because, again, the second, third goal scored in 85th, 90th minute when we went looking for the equalizer. But in the end of the day, um, you know, in football, you have to take your chances. And certainly Canada played in a way that isn't traditionally Canadian. I mean, the way you pass the ball around, the, the fluid attacking movement. Canada over the years hasn't always played like that. But from the men's team through to the, through to the under-17 team now, there is that ethos of passing, attacking football coming through. And it seems like it's just going to take time to pay off now. Yeah, I think, you know, I, I see our senior team. They play some great football at time as well. And I think, you know, maybe they lack the final ball like we did today. But I think in, in football today, especially Uruguay, a great team when they have the ball. And so it's a great defense for us uh, to have the ball and keep the ball. And it was a key for us when we're doing the, with the qualifying campaign. I know some people have described us as a defensive team because we had four clean sheets, well, five until the extra time in the U.S. in the final. But it's because we were able to keep the ball a lot. And because and, and when they didn't even have the ball, then obviously they can't score. And we knew going into the game, Uruguay was a quality side. And, uh, you know, I just, I'm disappointed by the first goal, to be very honest. I mean, I think it was a little bit confusion. We didn't know if it was a throw in, a corner, or our goal kick, to be quite honest. And we got caught out a little bit. So, uh, and then the other two, when you're kind of going for it. But again, I liked how we did. You know, we, we kept on trying to get down there, and, and their goalkeeper pulled off a couple of great saves in the last 15 minutes. So it was good. Maxime was excellent in goal during his time on the pitch. I know people back home will be curious to know his status right now. What do you guys know so far? I, I know it's, it's pretty stiff, um, I, and uh, we're going to get it assessed tonight, and we'll assess again tomorrow morning. Uh, we're hoping for the best, but at this point, we don't know at this point. But uh, again, you know, uh, as this character of this team, if Max can't go, it's an opportunity for someone else, and uh, we hope the, the next person will just step in and do a great job like Max has. A very big match he ahead against England now. Yeah, and they're, they're, they're top, they're good quality side. All the sides here are quality, and, uh, but we're really just focusing one game at a time, and really until after supper tonight, that's the first time we've sent England to our players. And now we know that uh, they've got a lot of experience on their side. Uh, they've got some great qualities within their team. Uh, I really can't tell you, honestly, I haven't looked at them too much up to this point. We'll start tonight, and we'll go start tomorrow morning, and we'll take it to the training pitch tomorrow afternoon. And then we have Wednesday, or sorry, Tuesday, and then we'll hopefully be ready as best as possible for Wednesday. Okay, Sean, thanks for your time.